C and C++ are one of the most popular languages over the world. Also, it is most preferable when you are new to programming and have just started to learn coding. In this video, I'll help you to download a compiler, choose a text editor which suits you, and in last, we will run your first C and C++ codes in your machine. So, in order to download MinGW, open your favorite browser and search for MinGW download. Or you can directly find the direct link to download the exe file in the given description. Now, if you have opened the uh, website, you will find the download link in the green button and download the exe file. Then open exe file and click on install button and continue. Then it will start downloading the required files. Meanwhile, it's downloading the required file. We can download the text editor. Now open a new tab and search for sublime text editor. You can directly find a link to the page in the given description below. Now click on the download for windows. It will automatically configure your operating system and let leave it for the download. Now check your installer. If it looks like this, then continue and it will open this page. We have to check all these for mark for installation. So I am going to mark all of them for installation as we don't know uh, which one uh, will be useful for the future. Mark all like this and now click on installation you can find it on the left corner click on the installation then apply changes again apply this will start a download to the all the compilers for C and C++ additionally it will download some more files uh, that will be required for your uh, uh, build some basic builds that is re actually required when you are in the development so let's wait for it the download speed is completely based on your internet connection i have fast forwarded the video speed here we got our exe file of sublime text editor by the way, if you really want me to explain how Sublime Text Editor is uh, more suitable for students than VS Studio Code, then comment down and I will explain in detail how it is more suitable for students and how it is useful for competitive programming also. Without changing any settings, just install the Sublime Text Editor and wait for the installation. At this point of time, we have successfully installed our text editor and now we are waiting for installation of our compilers so let's have a break if you want you can check this box close dialog automatically when activity is completed or you can manually click on close button on the completion now let me close all windows and then we will check if gcc and g++ versions are showing in our desktop or not now open your file explorer and navigate to your OS. Then find mingw folder and open bin in this folder. Now click on the path and copy this path. Now search for environment variables and click on the path of user variable. Edit it and now click on new. Paste the given path which you copied earlier. Now OK OK. Right click on the desktop and open terminal. Write GCC dash dash version and hit enter. It will return the version of GCC which we have installed. Similarly write G++ version and it will return the G++ version which we have installed. Create a new folder on your desktop and then search for sublime text. Open it 
and open a new folder by clicking file and then open folder now select the folder which we just created now right click on the new folder and create a new file click control s to save this file in the name of first underscore code dot c since we are going to code for c language and don't worry if you don't know coding it's just a demonstration that your compiler is working follow the steps to check the code is actually working in your computer also i have already uh, given the code in the description box copy it and try to run the same program as i do now open new folder and right click on a blank space and open terminal write down these following commands in your terminal first command will show the di uh, directory and the second command will compile your program and create a exe file the third command will run the program so in my case the program is perfectly running and it's executed successfully